welcome to the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com Standard Open in Columbus, brought to you by Ultimate Guard. I'm Nick Miller alongside Christopher Giuliano for a player interview. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. How are you? Pretty good. Christopher Giuliano is a name people see on the top 16 leaderboards, slowly climbing. You yeah. know, started out, you kind of jumped out on the scene at the Las Vegas Invitational, season four last year, mm -hmm. where you had a top four. Yes. Uh, since yeah. then, you rattle off another top eight in the Baltimore Open that Jim Davis won. Yep. Uh, and now, you know, you're a name here on the leaderboard. You're coming to every Open. Tell the people at home who Christopher Giuliano is. Um, I'm a Magic player out of New York. I live in a little town called Poquag. The population of cows is probably greater than people. Good times. Um, yeah, but there's a couple stores in the area that I could travel to within like 20 some minutes. Um, I love playing Magic. I started playing in college and got into like competitive Magic at that time. Traveled to a couple Grand Prix here or there, but nothing like really big. And uh, when I finally queued for a couple Invitationals, I decided to try travel out to Vegas, and yeah. that was. It was a good weekend, to say the least. Vegas is a great city, yeah. and for an Invitational, you come out there, you have a big splash, you make top four, you're playing Red Black Dragons, you're playing John Den Modern. Yeah. Uh, you know, one pretty stock deck, but one deck that's kind of off the radar. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, the Red Black Dragons deck was uh, a brew of mine. There was another guy who showed up at the tournament who also had like a, a similar version, uh, but it was more of like a mid-range deck. I played like an aggro, blue, mm -hmm. uh, uh, aggro Black Red Dragons deck with like one drops, two drop, three drop, and goes all the way up, and you know, beat him down early, and then go over the top with Dragon Lord Cole again. It was, it was fun. It was really sweet. It was fly it, format was weak to flying. So, how was that as kind of your first big success there? That that event, um, nerve wracking, but it was it was really cool. It was a really cool experience. Getting up into like the top tables of a big tournament and like staying there is just, it's really eye opening. It was it was an awesome experience. Did that kind of push you towards going to the Opens uh, this year? Oh, absolutely. Like having a little bit more, like having some more funds in order to travel, like really helped. And plus, like being like, oh, maybe this is something I'd like to do in the long term. It was like, you know what? I give it a shot and see how you do, and if it, if it doesn't go out so well, then maybe I'll just tone it back a bit. But sure. yeah, I mean, I've been doing all right. So since then, you've been trucking along, playing yeah. a lot of opens. What kind of magic do you like to play? What's your style? Um, well, my favorite format is modern. I I judge people like mm -hmm. so. Almost all the time, you'll see me playing some mid-range decks with like value creatures and spells. Um, in standard, and I also kind of like to play those things, but. I kind of stick to aggro decks a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. played a lot of humans uh, variants yeah, in this standard format. Yes, yes. I've played almost every version of humans. Bant humans, green white humans, blue white humans, mono white humans, like red white humans. I've played them. Yeah. All right. So. Well, this weekend Eldritch Moon is here. Yeah. Uh, you did not have a lot of time to test. You say uh, you work for a landscaping company of like yeah. 50 hours a week. Yeah, so. it's, it's, it's a lot of time to put into for working, so I didn't get a lot of playtesting going into the tournament. But you talked with Jeff Hoagland, a guy that you room with, kind of work a, work a little bit with, and yeah. you got, uh, what deck are you playing this weekend? Uh, he hooked me up with his list, and I'm playing a blue-white spirits deck. It's a it's a flash list with, you know, all the, like, the new spirits, like Selfless Spirit and Spell Queller, and it goes with, like, Rattle Chains and, you know, right. Archangel Avacyn and stuff. It's fine. What do you uh, see the format kind of moving to now? We had green-white, you know, tokens and a bunch of humans in the previous format a lot of people see the format changing where do you see it going um i think spell queller is going to have an, an, a really big impact on the format so i'm not 100 percent sure where it'll go from here but i think decks will start getting prepared to beat spell queller or um hope to avoid it which i don't think is a really good idea so i'm um, sure i'm hoping it'll be like similar to the last format but have like a couple new archetypes pop out of it that like the flesh deck i think so okay. Well, you say you work a ton of hours. Uh, what do you do outside of Magic when you get a chance to relax? Um, I usually like to hang out with my friends and like go to the movies. Uh, I golf every once in a while. I play sports. Uh, just a little bit of everything, it's like hiking. So it's just whatever I can do, whatever I can get my hands on. Well, up there in New York, might uh, take a round with Jim Davis. Those guys, they like to play some golf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, maybe at some point that'd be cool. He's in uh, he's in Long Island. It's uh, quite a trip from sure. like Poquake to Long Island, but it's uh, it's uh, yeah maybe. It's, uh, Got to get some top 16 leaderboard uh, antics there going on <laughs> yeah. in the golf course. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right. Well, thanks for joining me here on the sideboard. Stay tuned to StarCityGames.com all weekend long for the action here in Columbus.